Hey everyone, Don with Brasia Toneworks and thanks for watching. This video is a continuation of my series on building AB pedals. Uh, we built an AB and then an AB with LEDs and right now we're going to build one that is an ABY pedal. So basically you have the ability to choose output A, output B, or both combined. There's more involved with this type of build, so I'm going to go through a couple different screens a little bit differently this time than Norm, so hopefully you guys can follow along. So let's get started. Okay, looking at this screen here, I've got my inventory and the identifiers, you know, how I personally call out the lugs on back of switches or jacks or things like that. I'm not going to go through all of them here. I think you guys by now understand my convention. If not, come back to this screen and reference it as we're going through. As we are building this pedal, I'm anticipating that we are building it in a metal enclosure, not a plastic one. The plastic ones tend to not support as much weight and, and have a tendency, obviously, to crack and break. Uh, the metal ones are a little bit more sturdy, and we're actually adding a ground lift in this particular pedal in order to deal with some ancillary hum or buzz that might come out of uh, the, the amplifiers. Okay, the inventory is pretty simple. We need two quarter-inch mono jacks. We need a straight standard one. And we need a plastic one, one that's basically the square with the plastic around there. We want a normal metal type, uh, switchcraft type quarter inch jack, as well as a plastic cased quarter inch mono jack. We need a quarter inch stereo jack. You can tell that here. I've got the ring tip and sleeve identified. We need two DPDT foot pedal switches. We need a single SPDT toggle switch. We need two 4.7K quarter watt resistors, one 470K quarter watt resistor, and one 0.047 microfarad resistor. You also get to pick out your LEDs. Doesn't matter to me what colors you pick. I'm choosing these three here. And then we need a 2.1 millimeter DC jack in order to power this whole thing. I don't power my pedals with batteries. I prefer to go with the DC power. Hopefully you guys are on board with that. As always, we start with grounding. We are going to go from the sleeve of our stereo input jack, and we're going to connect that to lug B2 of our AB switch, and then we're going to take a jumper from there over to A2 of our Y switch. In addition, we're going to also go from that sleeve of the input jack to the sleeve of output A. And finally, we're going to come off the sleeve of output A to A2 of our ground lift switch, which is our SPDT switch. Okay, what we need to do now is actually wire up the ground lift resistors for output B. And you'll notice that output B is actually the plastic encased quarter inch jack. Make sure you're putting that as output B. So what we need to do is we need to take our 470K and our 0.047 UF resistors and we need to wire them up in this manner. They're right next to each other and we're going to take from lug A2 of our ground lift switch and we're going to join to the top of both resistors. The bottom of the resistors we're going to take a connector and go to A1 of our ground lift switch and then we're going to also take another link from there to the sleeve lug of output B. Now again, you can take both resistors, just put them right next to each other, take the leads off of one end, connect them to A2 of the switch. The other end is going to be connected to A1, and then we're going to take a jumper from there to the sleeve portion of output B. Now to connect the input jack, we're going to take a wire from the ring lug of the jack itself, and we're going to go to the negative lug of our DC jack. Now, some have it in the middle, some have it on the other side, uh, it kind of depends on which jack you get, whether it's a foreign or, or domestic made. So look for the negative sign on your lugs on the bottom of the DC jack. We're also going to go from the tip lug of our input jack to A2 of our AB foot pedal switch. For the output A jack, we're going to go from A1 of our AB switch, and we're going to take that to the tip lug of the output A jack. Now for output B, we're going to come from B2 of our Y switch to the tip lug of output B. Now remember that our LEDs have polarity, so there is a positive indicator on each LED. So you need to find where that lug is versus where the negative one is. Now to connect the LEDs, we're going to be coming off of the positive lug of our DC jack. And we're going to take both 4.7K resistors and we're going to connect them to that lug. 
one end of one of the resistors is going to go to the positive of our A LED, and then we're going to jump her over to the positive of our B LED. This will complete the circuit for the AB switch. The other resistor, we're going to terminate that at the positive side of the Y LED. Okay, once we have that, for the A LED, we're going to take from the negative side of that LED and go to B1 of the AB switch. Our B LED is going to go to B3 of our AB switch. And our Y negative is going to go to A3 of our Y switch. Now the last step is to connect the two foot switches together. So from A1 of the AB switch, we're going to go to B3 of the Y switch. And then from A3 of the AB switch to B2 of the Y switch. And there you go. You've just completed an ABY pedal with LEDs and a ground lift. So you'll be able to have an output to either A or B or to both. And then if you're getting additional hum or buzz from your amps, you can enact the ground lift and that will hopefully alleviate that hum or buzz. Now I know you can go out and buy these types of pedals. There's different manufacturers that make them and they actually do have a few different features on them which make them very nice. If you want to build your own, this is an easy way to do it. It's not a very expensive pedal to build, and it gets you into that pedal building mode. And from there, you can branch off if you actually want to try to build your own overdrive, delay, uh, modulation type pedals. Again, as always, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone, it's not just a knob, it's sound advice. Thanks.